Okay, this is to uh, show mist and ribbon both running in a Windows 98 second edition um, in a, inside a virtual PC box. The program is called Virtual PC 2000 from Microsoft. It's available free uh, at Microsoft from their download section. Now what I've done is I've installed Windows 98 inside a virtual box sometimes called a virtual machine and uh, I have set up Mist and Ribbon both uh, so that they can be run within this uh, virtual box on Windows 98 uh, also without the need of using any CDs. Uh, that's not such a bad deal with uh, with missed, but Ribbon has five CDs and that just can be a little bit of a pain. Okay, here we have missed, and down here I have Ribbon. First let me show you what I've done with the Windows Explorer. I have missed as an ISO file here. And then I took a um, a program called uh, let's see if I can find it down here it's called virtual clone CD well I can't get to the network yet right now oh it's probably still got to get a number from the router um, what I've done is I've created a virtual CD. Here you see the actual CD. And here is a virtual CD. And on the, what I've done is I've created an ISO file but for MIST. And the ISO file is then loaded using virtual CD into, and let me show you where that's at. You got, I'm sorry, virtual clone drive and you tell it however many number of drives you need and you uh... in the language of course and you set this up and then you can um, go with your uh, burner software cd burner software you can have it make an iso image of the uh, missed cd and then you can place this iso somewhere with um, on the network on your home network or uh, within this virtual Windows 98 and it will allow you to um, access it so um, let me press right alternate which lets me get up here to the menu bar um, our, it says capture ISO image I already have this one but I'm going to do this again and then that's all you have to do and it come, pops up uh, we'll close that box and run it from the uh, from the desktop icon, and there it starts. But uh, what I really want to get to is ribbon. Uh, now with ribbon, you have to do something different. Let's see if I can find the. Uh... Okay, what you I've tried burning ribbon to an ISO file. It ends up like three gigabytes, and the ISO standard only runs something over two gigabytes. So, uh, putting the uh, uh, necessary files into ribbon and then making a large ISO file out of it did not work. So I did not was not able to use virtual CD. Uh, the virtual clone uh, CD uh, for that but I discovered a different way by looking around the internet uh, you can take Riven and you uh, first of all you'll go up here to your uh, 
CD and you would uh, let's release that and then you would uh, use one of your physical drives you would have to put the CD in there and as soon as you put the CD in your physical drive you would see that it, it would become available up here now <clears throat> then from the, the CD and the drive actually you will uh, install Riven into Windows 98 uh, that's in this virtual PC however after that what you need to do is you notice there's a, uh, a folder here called data now I want you to, I've got this arranged by size look at the huge amount of the huge files here it will place uh, usually something about like uh, these files in here these smaller files what you need are these uh, actually I don't even think it puts that one in there what you really need also need are these uh, larger files this takes a while to do but if you go to each one of your ribbon disk uh, one, ver, uh, disk 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 and you take everything that's inside the data folder under the disk and place it here in this data folder under Riven right there then you can play the game Riven in Windows 98 or in this case Windows 98 within a virtual box uh, without having to change the disk um, Let's close this, and here I'll run the icon for Ribbon, and you can see it start up. <clears throat> I'm not sure if it'll do the entry since I did save the game. And I may not do the normal entry, it may just pop up where I went to. Okay, let's try this. Um, well, it's not going to let me open the old one yet. When you go up to the header bar and you click on it, it stops everything. And then when you come back and click inside the box, it'll go back to uh, continue. So that's the reason it stopped right there. Okay, this is a normal opening where the guy sits here and he starts talking to you and he gives you a book. Uh, we're going to try and uh, see if I can go to a saved game. Oh, I have to do it inside the box. Well, I thought I saved a game, but... Uh, I haven't been able to find it. So, uh, maybe it didn't get saved. Anyway, that's it. Let's close this. Exit. Save changes. Well, not this time. Then you're back out. And when you want to get out of the virtual box, remember to press uh, the right alternate to the right side of the space bar and you can close it and you have some choices save the state and save changes so it'll come right back where it's exactly at or you can shut down Windows 98 and save changes which is good if you've uh, loaded on any new drivers uh, driver files where you've uh, just installed the game you would want to do that um, turn off and save changes and then turn off and delete any changes if you've messed something up you certainly don't want to save it I'm just going to say shut down Windows 98 and save the changes. Uh, I should have, uh, and you can commit the changes to the virtual hard disk if you want. Uh, that makes sure it's uh, permanently saved. And that's it. Thanks for watching.